Welcome everybody to Tailgate Tuesday here on Plumbing with Tim. Today I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to explain to you a couple different techniques when it comes to working with PVC and PVC fittings. So hang out and we'll get right to it. And we're back. So it's towards the end of April here, uh, 2018, and Central Florida where I live. And yep, you got it right. The rainy season is hit. So that's why I'm out here. Uh, I don't want to get wet. Uh, it's on and on, sh uh, on and off showers. Uh, so I'm just going to wanted to take a few minutes just to show you a couple little techniques that I use uh, and a couple little simple tricks to help you out when you're working with PVC. This is all pretty much entry level stuff. Some of you pros and big shots out there. Uh, who cares? You already know about this stuff. But a lot of you guys don't. That's why I'm here bringing you a couple simple little tricks uh, that may improve your uh, ability to work with PVC a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to do is, is I've got some inch and a half fittings here. Um, DWV, drain volume waste, as you can see. These are inch and a half. Also, I have some two inch fittings here as well. As you can see, this is an inch and a half as well. Uh, so they all have something that's in common and I want to show you. All right, so we have to work on, let's say, a lavatory drain. And we got to bring the line out from the wall and kind of make a turn to make it to where our drain is going to set. So if you have to work with something like that and say I've got an inch and a half, 22. This is a 22 bend right here. And I also have an inch and a half street, 45. Why is that street? Well. This has a hub end that you would glue and a pipe would fit into it. And then this has a tapered end that'll fit into a fitting. So it's called a street fitting. If you notice carefully here on these fittings, um, take a look real close. See these little marks? These little notches that you got going on here? Yeah, those are markers to try to line up your fitting. So if I was wanting to come out of the wall with my 22 bend and let's say a street 45 and I wanted to make sure that they lined up well how the heck am I going to go about doing that actually what we'll do is we'll work with a 22 and a, a street 22 I'm going to take and I'm going to look at my lines so when I come out with my pipe coming out of the wall like so I'm going to want to try to keep my notch at the top at the very top centered now if I'm going to install a 22 right beside it look at at the top of the fitting there's notches there's marks so I want to try to stay with my seam on this one so here's my top there's my seam at the top and when I glue this in I want to take my seam and line my seam up with the notch see that now I know that that is nice and even or you can twist and roll it either way whether you want it uphill or downhill all right, so as you can see here, not everybody has this, but I'm a plumber, so I have this canister that has one side primer and the other side glue. And what I want to do is I want to show you the proper technique when it comes to like gluing any kind of PVC, but right now we're going to work with a water line. This is not drain. This is a one inch scheduled 40 PVC pipe, and I have a scheduled 40, uh, a 40 PVC 90 bend. It's one inch. Okay, so check it out. First thing we want to do is, is I'm going to cut a desired length because I got a big length that's sitting here with my PVC cutters. I got to give it a little bit of butt behind there. Try to get it cut. All right, we'll be back. I lost that piece. Sorry about that. We're back. So I have a desired piece of one inch PVC pipe. This is how you want to do this. All right, see how much of that fitting that the pipe has to go into. So we need to clean this. I don't care if it's brand new or not. Primer is going to activate that glue. Be really careful with this purple primer. Don't take it into the house and just willy-nilly do what you want to do because if it gets on the floor, it's stained and now you got a bill you have to pay. I usually set this in a five gallon bucket. So I'm gonna take my little wand and I'm gonna go back and forth around, as you can see, just about the width of my brush, just like that. And always make sure that you have some sort of a towel underneath you to catch any kind of excess. And we're going to take our fitting and we're going to do the same thing. Grease it up. See that? See how you got nice primer and the pipe is cleaned. And now we're ready for the glue joint. So I'm using just regular plain Jane PVC glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush here. We're going to first 
put it on our fitting. Go around once, go backwards, back around, just like that. Get a little dip. Now we're going to do our fitting. Just go in there. You don't need too much, but you want to make sure that all the areas are covered. And I'm going to slide this fitting in all the way and give it a quarter turn, just like that. Now, and, and while I have that, I'm going to hold this together. Do not let go of that fitting because that chemical reaction that's happening inside of there will push your pipe out of your fitting. So usually count at least 10 to 12 seconds. Bigger pipes, you might need to hold on to it about 30 to 45 seconds. Now, why is that? Because we want to make sure that this fitting is going to have time to adhere to our pipe. This is an important little process when it comes to working with any kind of PVC. Okay, so here's our last little trick when it comes to PVC. I've got them all day long, but I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show you a couple things. All right, let's say we have a, a piece of pipe. It doesn't matter what diameter it is. This is particularly an inch and a half pipe. It doesn't matter if it's a three inch pipe, four inch pipe, it doesn't make any difference. And we need to measure out a piece uh, so we can uh, do our install. So we take our tape measure, we measure it out, and let's say we want it at five inches. I got my finger sitting down there at five inches. But I ain't got a pencil or a marker. The only thing I got around me is a razor knife. Works perfect. Take a razor knife very carefully and take and put yourself a little bit of a notch right where you want that pipe to be cut. Now I can't see it because it's plastic. Try this. Take a look at where you made that little mark with your PVC and your knife. I already lost it. Right there it is. Spit on it. Take your finger, because it's already dirty, and rub it against that cut. Look at that. I can see that mark now, because it took some of the dirt off my fingers and it got down into that little crack. Now I know how and where to cut my pipe without having a pencil or a marker. Cool, huh? So there you guys have it. I hope this video has been helpful in some way or another. Hey, I got them all day long. Don't forget to take a moment and drop down and hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment or a big thumbs up or whoever knows, maybe even share it with a friend. Listen, there's all kinds of super neat things you can do with plumbing and alternative ways to the regular traditional way of doing things. But never try to cut corners when it comes to plumbing or do things half-assed. Always make sure to call a licensed plumber if you're not sure of how to take care of something. And until next time, this has been Tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.